everyone. Welcome to SNA Let's, Let's Play. Play. We are back with Mystic Destiny, Serendipity of Aeons, Tatsuya's Route. So, we've, it's been a quite a long time since we last recorded, so it's going to take us some time to remember what voices and who did what. I, I may be changing up my voices. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We're just making this goofy. Yeah, we're just going with the flow. Okay. Yeah. The sound of a doorbell rings through the house. For a moment, I'm entirely confused as to where I am. Then I sit up, my hair flying forward. Why did that look like a one? Huh? That looked like a one. Oh. Oh, there goes the toilet. See, I told you. <laughs> uh, what time is it? I have classes today. I blink a few times at the unfamiliar room as I begin to remember where I am. Oh, that's right. Tatsuya brought me here yesterday while the toilet's still going off. Ah, uh, I fell asleep on him. Do you just realize it? Mm. <laughs> I want to pull the color covers up over my head at the mem. Uh, then it, I want to pull the covers up over my head at the memory, but then I look around to make sure I'm alone. I wonder how I got back in bed anyway. Oh man, what if he tucked me in? Ah, uh, so embarrassing. <laughs> You're worried about him tucking you in, honey? Oh my gosh. I'd, I'd be love, worried. I would love that. I, I'd be worried that I wouldn't have a, because I don't sleep with a bra on. I mean, you'd be saying, mm. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I cover my face with my sheet and twist in shame at the thought. Voices float to me through the door and I realize I should get up and start the day. No use worrying about it, it now. I'll have to face him sometime, although I could probably climb out the window. <laughs> Nail you go, girl. You try yeah. it. I want to watch. <laughs> Shaking my head at my ridiculous thoughts, I get out of bed and go to the door. I carefully creep into the hallway, hoping to avoid whoever it is that's talking out there. As I get closer to the voice, I realize that it's actually two people. Tatsuya's and T Tatsuya's and a female's that is, that I'm unsure. Oh, God, that sounded weird. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think that's Sakuko or Chisaki, though. Realizing it's coming from the balcony, I slide along the wall, hoping for a peek. <clears throat> Tatsuya comes into view. His back turned, and a girl that looks somewhat familiar is with him. I squint, trying to remember who she might be when she turns her head to the side. <gasps> oh! Haruna? Who is the voice of her? I don't know. It's gonna be you. <laughs> <laughs> she must have just come come from a late night at work because she looks tired, but she smiles so sweetly at Tatsuya that it makes me sick. Jealous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm this close, I can clearly hear their conversation. Or should I be her because you have Tatsuya? Yeah. So, that girl from before, she really wasn't your girlfriend then? I have to cover my mouth as I gasp from the, this direct question. Oh, I didn't realize he's not wearing his glasses. No. Oh, he's in his jammies and he's talking to her? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Especially strained and stiff when he says this, and the hope I didn't know I held s sinks into my stomach. What am I even thinking? Of course he said no. I know he's not my boyfriend. Oh. Ah, I see. I suppose it's none of my business, though. I just thought, if she was, it might not be appropriate for me to be here. But... Ever since I saw you again, I can't stop thinking about you. <gasps> oh, Ooh, no. She's a <laughs> rival. <laughs> well, maybe that isn't the right, isn't right either. It's more that... <clears throat> Who's supposed to be the question mark? Just, I, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I spin back around at the sound of a man's voice behind me. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. In front of me stands a thin man in a slightly wrinkled suit and glasses. He looks just like Tetsuya. Yep. That's just probably going to be the dad. Hair. <laughs> yeah. 
I blink for a moment, thinking somehow that Tetsuya has aged up and gotten in front of me. Oh my god. Um, girl, his hair and eye color are not the same, honey. It should be obvious. <laughs> but then my brain kicks in, and I realize he must be Tetsuya's father. Duh. <laughs> uh oh. He looks exactly like. Oh, but yeah. She's let's find the wall, and he just. Yeah. Uh oh. Busted. She's been caught. <laughs> I bet he totally knows I was eavesdropping. <laughs> yes, honey. I quickly get it together and bow deeply. Good morning. You must be Tatsuya's father. Thank you for letting me stay here. Haruki scrunches the side of his head. Scratches. Scratches the side of his head and smiles gently. You be Haruki. You're Tatsuya. And his daddy. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Um, maybe like the same type of voice, just a little bit more bouncier than his Tatsuya. Yeah. A little less dead. <laughs> yes, I'm Tatsuya's father. <laughs> Is he his fart? <laughs> Ow. Yes, I'm Tatsuya's father. I'm, Har I'm Haruki. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. having a giggle fit now. Oh, no. Yes, I'm Tatsuya's father. I'm Haruki. Haruki Yukimura. That as for letting you stay here, it's probably more accurate to say that was my wife's decision. Not that I mind. Please, there is no need to bow. I stand up straight and examine Mr. Yukimura. I'm surprised that he shares his wife's family name, but I figure it must have something to do with dragon culture. He's not what I expected. Although, he looks like Tetsuya, he has a much more relaxed air about him. The thing is, too, I, I would never put Chisaki with him. Mm -mm. They don't look like they fit as a no, couple. No, they don't. Because she's like, a, mm, I got it, girl, attitude. And he's got like this dead inside. But, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Opposites did. attract, T though. T Tetsuya is more, <laughs> eh, eh. All right. <laughs> him. He's, he's his son's twin. <laughs> Haruki also seems a bit nervous and even slightly embarrassed as he continues. I got home late last night, but Shisaski... Sh what the fuck? <laughs> Shisaski. <laughs> that sounds more Polish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got home late last night, but... But Chisaki, oh my God! <laughs> but Chisaki said you were a friend of Tatsuya's. Haruki looks past me out onto the balcony. Do you know Haruna too? <laughs> I glance back and shake my head, ashamed of my actions. No, sir. I just um. Tatsuya is, a, is my assigned partner from class. I, er, passed out. Uh, Girl. Haruki, gosh, yes. what's with the burp? <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't worry. She's Girl. Chi. Saki. I know that. I started to laugh, and then it just went whoop. Chisaki told me everything this morning. Haruki doesn't say anything else, but looks from me to Tatsuya and Haruna all out <gasps> the balcony. <laughs> it begins to feel awkward as hell standing there. I'm so I drank soda, and soda makes me do the hiccup burps. <laughs> he has to be wondering about the connection between the three of us. Suddenly, he startles a bit and refocuses on me. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Are you hungry? Sorry, I'm not the best host, but she. But Chisaki is making breakfast downstairs. Would you like some? Oh, all right, sure. Thank you. I'm surprised everyone's still at home this early. At home, at my house, 
Dad was usually gone before we even woke up. Haruki turns around and starts moving down the stairs. I glance back at Haruna and Tetsuya before following him. <gasps> Feeling timid, <laughs> I walk to the dining room table that Sakuko and Toshiyuki are already sitting at. Oh, jeez, I hiccuped again. Haruki moves past me to seat himself, and I join them. A plate is placed in front of me, and I look up to see Chisaki. That was her, I think. Good morning, Sujin. I made this specially... <laughs> Good morning, Sujin. I made this specially for you, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I look down to see a fried egg, rice, and grilled fish. When I see everyone else's plates, I realize they all have the same thing. I cock my head to the side. Um, thank you? The only- remember girl, they can't eat hot stuff. They eat the cold stuff. Yeah. Do you want to be him? Um, or do you want me to be him? I like his hair. I know, I love his hair. I like his shirt too. Eat and sleep? Nah, draw. Nah, <laughs> draw. Yeah. No eating, no sleeping, just draw. Mm -hmm. It's special because it's warm. Huh? We eat our food cold, remember? It's weird. Oh, right. Thank you, Mrs. Yukimura. You think it's weird? Girl, they're, they're ice dragons. I know. But they're freaking ice dragons. I know. Not a problem. I begin to eat my food slowly as to be polite, but I soon realize that it'll be impossible. Oh. Yep. It's very good. Thank you, dear. I should hope so, since I cook it in the cafe all the time. Your turn. Mom, why is it that Sujin gets to sit around in her pajamas on a Tuesday? I know, she's, she looks like she's the only one without the blue hair. Because the brother had, like, the blue highlights. Yeah, he's got he's got the black and blue, and then you got the... Tattoo's Tatsuya's got, got the, blue. Tatsuya's got her hair. Uh -huh. And he, she's got her dad's hair, but, but her the mom's, mom's eyes. Blue yeah. eyes. I have to go to school. She should, too. Don't start, Sakuko. <laughs> so you even bother her. Of course. At least she's easy to get a reaction out of. <laughs> wow. Then again, you never have any emotions, Yuki. Maybe you're even more of a robot than Tatsuya. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could definitely see that, though, because, yeah. Whatever. He looks dead inside. They all look the same, though. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're, you're the whole family. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Sakuko, that's enough. Sorry. She listens to Dad better than Mom. But it was a completely valid question. Keeping up with all the different conversations, even if it's not the most pleasant topics, makes me <laughs> smile. Without thinking, the next words slip out of my mouth. So, this is the kind of family Tatsuya grew up with. He's lucky. Oh. <laughs> How? Uh, <laughs> do I want that? I guess, which one? Do, if you want to be her voice, I'll be his for just this part. Uh, Ready? Uh, one, two, three. Lucky, lucky How? how? <laughs> I let out a little giggle. <laughs> you two really are related, huh? I wish I wasn't. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, it must be nice <laughs> having everyone together like this every day. I think you mean annoying. Yeah, seriously. If you think this seems nice, your family must be a total downer then, Sujin. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number three. Sakuko, apologize. Sorry, that was pretty mean. Yeah, she listens to Dad a lot better than Mom. No, it's all right. You're right. My family is kind of a downer. You don't have to talk about them if you don't want to, honey. Oh, now they're trying to get her to talk. I don't mind. I'm surprised, but I don't so much right now. 
My mother was always very cold to me. Not so much at first, but it seemed like the older I got. Then she married my father, who's a wonderful man, but <gasps> rarely around because of work. <laughs> but I gained a stepsister and I'm very close that I'm very close to. She's a wonderful, bright person who's very loving. I just don't get to see her anymore since I moved away to be closer to school. Now my question is, is her sister, Ko? is it actually her mother's daughter or is it from the, the father's first marriage? Mm. It doesn't really say. No. That I've seen. Because it just says now I've gained a sister, so I'm guessing maybe it's from a previous marriage of his? I don't yeah. know. But yeah, our family dining together, those times were few and far in between. Well, geez, that's sad. Sakuko, even so, it's not polite to say that. Your stepsister sounds great, though. Uh huh, hint, hint. You'll find out later. Go, Sakuko! Yeah, hold on. Yeah, but she never gets to see her. Actually, why do all of you get to sit together like this? It's Tuesday morning, so don't you have places to go? Haruki worked overtime last night, so he doesn't need to go in until later, and Yuki and Sakuko will be going to school shortly. Tatsuya has Tuesday mornings off and goes to help my father at his dojo nearby. That's why he comes here on Monday nights. Mm. Haruki adjusts his glasses and looks at me before speaking in his deep, calm voice. When it says he adjusts his glasses, it reminds me of Tatsuya. I know. You know? <laughs> He's very much like Tatsuya. Mm-hmm. Do you have classes today? Yes, but I'm still not feeling that well, and my morning classes will be over before I can get there. I might try to go to my later ones, but I don't know. I know how, I know how it is to always want to work, but it's okay to take it easy sometimes, especially for your health. You should relax today. Massive releases of power can be pretty rough on anyone, especially someone not used to it. Then, uh, just then, the only missing member of the family walks into the room. Oh! Tatsuya grabs a plate on the counter and sits down at the last open seat next to his father. Now, when she bumped into him, like, with Haruna, it sound, it seemed like, like they were on the porch, the balcony or something. But, you know, because they went downstairs to get to this room. Where is she? Yeah. Now that he's coming in. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense. All right. He doesn't make eye contact with anyone, and Chisaki seems to notice. No, oh, he came down wearing everything. Wearing is, right? Not his jammies. Is everything okay, Tatsu? The children quietly get up from their seats and wash their plates and the atmosphere in the room seems to have changed. Tatsuya only gives a short nod, not bothering to look up. I wonder what could have possibly happened between him and her. <laughs> well, we're going. See you, Sujin. Yeah, I think, I think that was an error. It says, see, Sujin. <laughs> Feel better and, um... Sorry about look yesterday. <laughs> I wave at the Yutamira siblings <laughs> as they leave the kitchen. Chisaki moves to the sink and takes to take care of the dishes, leaving me alone with the men. Seeing them next to each other, they really seem so alike. <laughs> I wonder if Tatsuya gets along with his dad. Tatsuya, your friend still isn't feeling well. Do you think you could take her... Ugh. Do you think you could take care of her today? But I have to help Grandfather. Tatsuya starts to protest, but Chizaki's clear voice rings out from the sink. Just take her to the dojo with you. But I thought she said she wasn't feeling well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just let it end it here? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to end it here. Um, we're thinking of doing another game, another Otome game. Yeah. Or a visual novel for female, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, which we're thinking of doing Cinderella Phenomenon, which is an amazing game. Anyway, I hope you are enjoying, and see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.